Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to format list of figures, tables and contents in Microsoft Word in really easy and simple way. Let's get started. So guys, this is my table of contents and not my table of contents, just a sample table of contents and list of figures. Again, some uh, headings and everything and some figures and list of tables. Let's just move to the Word file and I will show you how you do this. Let's say for instance, I'm going to remove this one. Okay, we don't have this one. Now we have just the text that I have over here. So this is just a sample text. I didn't do anything special on this one. And uh, this is the first text, uh, first heading, followed by second, third results and fourth conclusion. So what I've done here is, this is actually a table, but I'm not showing uh, the columns and everything. And, uh, but you should show for, for table at least. So you can do something like this. So. If this doesn't look scored, then there's a way to do for this one is that uh, you just say no borders first and then you click here, say top border and let's say, uh, sorry, undo and uh, top border first and then select this one and click here and say bottom border. Okay. Similarly, do the same thing for this one. Uh, first, no border, then select uh, top border and then select bottom border. Okay, in this way, the table looks much, much better than before. So as you can see here, this one, uh, it looks, it looks like something like this before. And after doing something uh, like this, it looks much better. And if you want to uh, create a partition, you can do that. Well, that's a separate thing I will show you in some other video. But let's come to the point about uh, labeling everything. So for example, I have this heading introduction and literature. So for example, if I go here and click one point and Put a space you can see that there's something automatically formatting which was enabled and sh showed that as a number now if you want to repeat the same thing for the rest of the things what you can do is select this one go here right click and say update heading now the heading is updated and you can see that automatically these things are automatically updated so we don't have to work much for this thing now let's see this has, doesn't have a space above it let's click here and say add a space before paragraph now this thing works like this now how about a subheading subheading also works in the same way just one point one point and then put a space now you can see that automatically was updated so heading one point heading two which is 1.1 i already made it so i will just show you how it works so for example if this is the heading that you want to keep as a subheading to the heading one just click on heading two and it will automatically do this thing for you also you can see that there is no indent here so if you want to modify you can go here modify it and then you can move it a little bit here so that you can see and put an indent and you will see how it works so now you can see the indent went a little bit too far so you can move it back from these ones and you can put it here and then select it click here and say update heading okay now the point is that uh, in thesis writing or in the, uh, the documents that you write and you want to enlist uh, like a table of contents a table of figures so what you can do is so now these are already uh, formatted if you do manually like just uh, something like uh, for example uh, let's say two and let's say results and discussion so this won't come in the table of content because this is not uh, you can see that this is not uh, indexed or this is not numbered so if you select this one you will see a difference that this is select highlighted which shows that these are numbered items so they can be easily uh, easily uh, taken into account for the list of table and list of figures Okay, so now we have these figures. I uh, just use my custom thumbnails uh, as a figure because I don't want to waste time and just uh, want to be to the point. I want to show how to do that. So now we have two figures and we have two tables and we have four headings. Now what to do now? I'm going to press enter here and say table of contents first. Okay, let's say table of contents, then say table of figures and then say list of tables list of tables okay we can't say table of tables so you can say list of tables or list of you can also say list of uh, figures and this is how you can do that now first of all we are going to make them bold make them centered so that they look a little bit much better and then increase the size to let's say let's say 12 12 at least uh, similar to the heading let's say we are going to modify it and keep it to 12 also okay and automatically everything will be modified similarly modify this one and this time we keep it 11 okay that's fine now we are going to add table of contents for this one. So first of all, at table of contents, go to reference options 
and here you will see two options one is table of contents here and another option will be over here which is table of figures dialog first of all we are going to add table of contents so once you have table of contents you have three different options which says automatic table one table two table three depends upon what kind of formatting you have or what kind of formatting you want so for example if i go uh, go ahead with this one it already comes with this title so we can remove this one and we can just keep simple this one or just say uh, i'm going to go and choose a simple one instead and do something like this table of contents and i'm going to remove this one and similarly i'm going to make it bold centered and make sure your font is 12 with like previous and the color is black okay now this is done now let's add list of figures so go to references again now this time you have to go here which says table of figures dialog but now remember that these were our equations and when i told you in a previous video how to add equation numbers you can watch my previous video and see how i did that now you will see that this dialog is already also available now over here which says table of figures dialog so once you click here you will have an option which says print preview web preview general formats includes from template or you want to choose different one it will change according to that these are predefined ones so you can just choose from template one and then comes a the caption label so now different captions we have they are figures and they are equate tables and they are equation for example now we want for figures so remember that we use figure with figure so you're going to select this one so if I, you are using fig dot then you're going to use this one so in this case we are using figures so we are going to select this one and press ok and you will have your figures which are over here at the bottom which is custom graphs in ms excel they will appear over here now let's go to list of tables similarly same step go here list of tables go table into table and now this time we have tables so click on table ok and you have tables over here right now so now reason why they are bold is because we are having bold text here now i'll show you what happens if i unbold them now if i go back to this list of tables and i select them and i right click and say update field and ask you do you want to update page numbers only or you want to update the entire table so always click this one it will do update these text also and also will update the page numbers so once you click this one you can see that this is already done so if you want to make it similar like this you can easily do for this one also or you can just remove the bold format from here also by pressing ctrl b you remove that or you can also go in home option and you can unbold it from here okay so this is one thing that you guys can do in easy and simple way okay so now as you can see the font is a little bit different for everything now select all of that right click on this times new roman everything is now consistent put your mouse here press ctrl and enter it will go to the next page now this is your first page now we want to make it more reasonable so we are going to give them a reasonable space between each other and first of all you're going to say remove space before paragraph and then we are going to give them a same size of uh, font or same size of line spacing so once you click on this one let's say this one and then you can also check for the line spacing options by going here it says line spacing options it says 1.5 or you can also add double if you want but let's stick to single line spacing press ok or you want to go here and make it to 1.5 and in this way you can manage your figures and everything now one thing which i want to tell you that for example if i change this introduction heading let's say i say introduction to materials so if i say like this and you will wonder oh this is not updated so remember that what you have to do is press ctrl a and press f9 in order to update everything so update entire table and say update entire table of figures okay update entire table of figures again and now you will have everything updated over here another way is that you can manually update it from here click here update entire table and press ok so this is all and i hope you guys find this video useful and if you have any questions please leave your comments down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed do subscribe it helps me Mod it keeps me motivated and make new content for you guys if you have any queries please leave your comments down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible till then take care and laugh